हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट बब्बल सॉर्ट बब्बल सॉर्ट इज अ सिंपल एल्गोरिथम व्हिच यू यूज टू सॉर्ट अ गिवन सेट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट्स प्रोवाइडेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एरे विद एन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स बब्बल सॉर्ट कंपेयर ऑल द एलिमेंट वन बाय वन एंड सॉर्ट देम बेस्ड ऑन देयर वैल्यू इफ द गिवन एरे हैज टू बी सॉर्टेड इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर then bubble sort will start by comparing the first element of the array with the second element if the first element is greater than the second element it will swap both the elements and then move on to compare the second and the third element and so on if we have total n elements then we need to repeat this process for n minus 1 times it is known as bubble sort because with every complete iteration the largest element in the given array bubbles up toward the last place or the highest index just like a water bubbles rise up to the water surface let's see the example of bubble sort in this array total number of elements are 6 starting with the first index that is 1 and compare the current element with the next element of the array compare 77 with 42 if the current element is greater than the next element of the array then swap them 77 is greater than 42 then swap them if the current element is less than to the next one then move to the next element and repeat step 1 now compare 77 with 35 77 is greater than 35 then swap them then compare 77 with 12 77 is greater than 12 swap them then compare 77 with 101 77 is greater than 101 condition is evaluated to be false now in this case the current element is less than the next element then move to the next element then compare 101 with 5 Now one zero one is greater than five. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then swap them. Largest value correctly placed. But all other values are still out of order. So we need to repeat this process. If we have n elements, and if each time we bubble an element, we place it. in its correct location then we repeat the bubble up process n minus 1 time this guarantees we will correctly place all n elements first of all compare 77 with 42 77 is greater than 42 interchange then compare 77 with 35 77 is greater than 35 again interchange then compare 77 with 12 77 is greater than 12 again interchange then compare 77 with 101 now in this case there is no change 77 is less than 101 then after that compare 101 with 5 101 is greater than 5 again interchange and finally 101 is at its right position when step 1 is completed a of n will be the largest element a of 6 will be the largest element then in pass to compare 42 with 35 42 is greater than 35 interchange 
then compare 42 with 12. 42 is greater than 12. Again interchange, 42 is greater than 12. Then compare 42 with 77. 42 is greater than 77. No change. Then compare 77 with 5. 77 is greater than 5. Interchange. The second largest element will occupy a of n minus 1. In pass 3, compare 35 is 12. 35 is greater than 12. Interchange. Then compare 35 with 42. 35 is greater than 42. Condition become false. No chain. Then compare 42 with 5. 42 is greater than 5. Condition become true. Interchain. Now the third last element occupy A of n minus 2. 42 is at its right position. Pass 4. Compare 12 is 35. 12 is greater than 35. No change. Then compare 35 with 5. 35 is greater than 5. Condition is evaluated to be true. Interchange. Now 35 is at its right position. Then in pass 5, compare 12 with 5. 12 is greater than 5. Condition become true. Interchange. 12 is at its right position. If n is 6, total number of passes will be n minus 1, that is 5. Let's see the algorithm for bubble sort. Bubble sort is the name of the algorithm. Data is an array and n is the number of elements in this array. Number of elements in this array are 6. The first step of algorithm is repeat step 2 and 3 for k is equal to 1 to n minus 1. So k is 1, 1 to n minus 1, n is 6, and 6 minus 1, 5. First step is for number of passes. If number of elements are 6, the number of passes will be 5. Then second step, set ptr is equal to 1. And repeat while PTR is less than equal to n minus k. PTR is 1. 1 is less than equal to n is 6 and k is 1. 6 minus 1, 5. 1 is less than equal to 5. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then check the if condition. If data of PTR. PTR is 1. Data of PTR is 77. 77 is greater than data of PTR plus 1. PTR is 1, 1 plus 1, 2. Data of PTR is 42. 77 is greater than 42. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then temp is equal to data of PTR. Temp is equal to data of PTR. Data of PTR is 77. And data of PTR is equal to data of 1 is equal to Data of PTR plus 1. Data of PTR plus 1 is 42. And data of PTR plus 1 is equal to PTR plus 1 means data of 2. Data of 2 is equal to temp. Temp is 77. So after swapping, data of 1 is 42. And data of 2 is 77. Then set PTR is equal to PTR plus 1. Now PTR become 2. Repeat while 2 is less than equal to n minus k. n is 6. 6 minus k is 2. n is 6 minus k is 1. 6 minus 1, 5. 2 is less than equal to 5. 
condition is evaluated to be true. Then check the if condition if data of PTR is greater than data of PTR plus 1. Data of PTR is 77. 77 is greater than data of PTR plus 1. Data of PTR plus 1 is 35. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then temp is equal to data of PTR. Data of PTR is 77. And data of PTR is equal to data of PTR plus 1. Data of 2 is equal to PTR plus 1, that is 35. And data of PTR 1 is equal to temp. Data of PTR plus 1, data of 3 is equal to 77. After swapping, array will be 42. 35, 77, 12, 101 and 5. Now PTR is equal to PTR plus 1. Now PTR become 3. 3 is less than equal to 5. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then compare data of PTR with data of PTR plus 1. Now data of PTR is 77. 77 is greater than data of PTR plus 1. Data of PTR plus 1 is 12. 77 is greater than 12. Condition become true. Then temp is equal to data of PTR. Temp is equal to 77. And data of PTR is equal to data of 3 is equal to data of PTR plus 1. That is 12. And data of PTR plus 1, data of 4 is equal to M, that is 77. After interchange, array will be 42, 35, 12, 77, 101 and 5. Then PTR is equal to PTR plus 1. Now PTR become 4. 4 is less than equal to 5. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then check if condition. If data of PTR is greater than data of PTR plus 1, data of PTR is 77. 77 is greater than data of PTR plus 1. Data of PTR plus 1 is 101. Now in this case, condition is evaluated to be false. 77 is not greater than 101. Then set PTR is equal to PTR plus 1. Now PTR become 5. 5 is less than equal to 5. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then check the if condition. If data of PTR is greater than data of PTR plus 1, data of PTR is 101. 101 is greater than data of PTR plus 1, that is 5. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then temp is equal to data of PTR. Temp is equal to data of PTR that is 101 and data of PTR is equal to data of 5 is equal to data of PTR plus 1 that is 5 and data of PTR plus 1 data of 6 is equal to temp and after interchange after interchange array will be 42 35 12, 77, 5 and 101. And PTR is equal to PTR plus 1. Now PTR becomes 6. 6 is less than equal to 5. Condition is evaluated to be false. 101 is at its right position. And control transfer to the step 1. For second pass, repeat step 2 and 3 for k is equal to 2 to n minus 1, 2 to 5, and so on. This is a complete algorithm for bubble sort. Let's see the program for bubble sort. 
Inside the main function, we have declared some variables. n is the total number of elements in the array, and i is for a loop, and a double r is the name of the array, and 50 is the size of the array. j is also for loop. temp is a temporary variable for swapping. First of all, input the size of the array, then input array elements. Then after that, sort the array element using bubble sort technique. First loop is for pass and second loop is for execute a pass in second loop we have to compare element at index 1 with index 2 and so on and finally display array elements after sorting now run this code after the execution of this code Enter the size of the array. Size of array is five. Then input five elements of an array: six, seven, four, three, and two. Then sorting the array using bubble sort technique. Array sorted successfully. The new array will be two, three, four, six, seven. Next is the time and space complexity analysis of bubble sort. The bubble sort algorithm has a time complexity that is big O of n square, and the space complexity is big O of one. Since it does not require any additional memory space apart from a temporary variable used for swapping. that's why its space complexity is only big o of 1 the time complexity analysis of bubble sort best case worst case and average case the best case occur when the array is already sorted so the number of comparison required is n minus 1 and the number of swap required is equal to 0 the best case complexity of bubble sort is big o of n the worst case condition for bubble sort occur when the element of the array are arranged in decreasing order in the worst case The total number of iteration or passes required to sort a given array is n minus one, where n is the number of element present in the array. At pass one, number of comparison are n minus one. In pass two, number of comparison are n minus two. Number of swap is also n minus two. and in pass 3 number of comparisons are n minus 3 and number of swap are also n minus 3 and so on in pass n minus 1 the number of comparison is 1 and number of swap is also 1 total number of comparisons to sort the given array is n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 up to plus 2 plus 1 Now, by using sum of n natural number formula, n minus one into n minus one plus one divided by two, that is n into n minus one divided by two. In worst case, the total number of swap is equal to total number of comparison. The total number of comparison. in worst case is n n minus 1 by 2 this is the total number of comparison and the total number of swap in worst case is n n minus 1 divided by 2 the worst case complexity is big o of n square the average case complexity of bubble sort is also big o of n square This is all about bubble sort. 